Hello, welcome to Wiggle Miniatures. I'm Jim, and today we're going to be painting a horse and hitch from the Deep Cuts line by WizKids. As usual, we'll be using Army Painter Speed Paints and War Paints, and the majority of the work is going to be done in the priming phase using an airbrush, but you can get comparable results using dry brushing techniques. Let's get to it. Having already primed these miniatures with the same steps that I primed the dragon in the video located in the top right corner of the screen, I begin applying speed paints. I accidentally bought two of these somehow, so I'll be painting each one differently. One the color of a chestnut and the other is an American paint horse. For the latter, I start with sand golem, leaving patches and areas unpainted. With an even mix of sand golem and hard leather, I then add deeper shadows on the underbelly and in the recesses of the joints and muscles. Repeat the previous step with unmixed hardened leather, but painting only the deepest areas in the center area of the underbelly. While the speed paints on the first horse dry, I move to the next, coating it entirely in hardened leather. I will be following the same process as the first horse, with the only difference being that the speed paints I am using are darker. This time I mixed hardened leather and dark wood at an even ratio and again paint the deepest recesses of the joints, muscles, underbelly, mane, tail, and hooves. With undiluted dark wood, I add the deepest shadows. Returning to the painted horse, I begin adding small hatching lines with matte white, following the muscles in the white areas and dry brush the mane and tail portions that are also going to be white. This took forever. I move to the hitches and paint the wooden poles with dark wood. I add shadows under the top pole and down the parts of the vertical poles using grim black. For the metal banding, I coat them with rough iron from the Army Painter Metallics line. The first metallic highlight is done with an even mix of rough iron and weapon bronze. The final highlight is with weapon bronze. I drop dark tone wash across the mane and tail, finish the bases, and then call it a day. This is the final result. For lessons learned, I should have varnished the horses before adding dark tone wash. You can see it more on the painted horse, especially its tail, where the sand golem reactivated and bled into the white. I have a few miniatures that this occurred with and I plan on going back one day and fixing them all at the same time. Maybe I'll make a video out of it. It's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you learned something or inspired to start or expand your own collection. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and if you like the content of this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Jim with Working With Miniatures. I'm truly grateful for your time and I bid you a fond farewell. Until the next video.